Welcome back. Hi, we're, we just recently completed the law of attraction, the science of how to get more of what you want and less of what you don't want by Michael J. Lossier. If you haven't, um, if you didn't catch with the videos, you can click at the, uh, you know, look up on the channel, our previous videos, we, we read the entire book. Now, this time in this episode, what we're going to be doing is uh, doing or completing the work worksheet on in the book. If you purchase the book and read the book, you will find a lot of benefits uh, and a lot of uh, you're going to learn a lot about deliberate attraction, the law, a law of attraction and the ability to bring more of what you want and less of what you don't want in your life we are we have taken the time to share to you know write down what our three step formula for deliberate attraction is and in this three step formula step one is to identify your desire and in in this step what you want to do is to create a contrast uh, create a table with a contrast on one side and clarity statements on the other side. The uh, in this particular work uh, sheet, we focused on our financial contrast and financial clarity. On side A, I'm going to read not, uh, side side A. Our financial contrast is not enough money. And right across from it, the uh, op the clarity statements will be more money. The contrast statement, not being paid enough for the amount of work I do. Clarity statement will be paid bountifully for what I do. Not paid enough for my time. Paid enough for my time. Income is not passive. Multiple lucrative passive incomes. Earning to survive, not earning to enjoy life. Getting paid to enjoy life. Few people have too much and many people don't have enough. Everyone has plenty. Not enough autonomy at my career. I will have more autonomy over my career. Money flow is sporadic. A constant flow of money is coming in from multiple sources. Money does not come easily in our family. Money comes easily to me. I stress about money issues. Money and my relationship with it feels good. Okay. All right. So next we're gonna go over the second step and the three step formula for deliberate attraction so the second step in this formula was to give your desire attention by creating desire statements now we already went through this in the book about how desire statements and the whole creating your desire statement process works so now we're just gonna go through um, how we did it and what we decided to um, work on and give you guys an example of how you can use it for your own life as well. So, um, first of all, the first part in um, the steps two process of giving um, your desire attention by creating desire statements. So the first step in this whole desire creation process is to create an opening statement. Now, the um, opening statement you want to have pretty much the same kind of introduction phrase for almost really any opening statement that you're going to create. So what we did, since we're focusing on our um, financial situation, we wrote, I'm in the process of attracting all that I need to do, know, or have to attract more money to me. So what you would do when um, you're creating your opening statement, say, I'm in the process of attracting all that I need to do, know, or have to attract whatever your ideal thing is. Okay, so for us, it's more money. 
Then we get in to creating the body statement. The body statement is like the nitty gritty of the whole thing. This is your meat and potatoes of your full desire statement. So what we did with the body statement was we took our, um, our clarity statements from step one. So let me sh let's get a reminder of what that was. So remember our financial clarity statement in step one. That's the second column in the step one process. I'm trying not to rock the video. Sorry. Um, so we took those statements and we brought them down to step two to work on our step two process. So in the body, we're going to use that for our, for these body statements. And pretty much the formula for um, the body statement will be... Um, we're going to put something like, um, I know, or I love such and such. I love how such and such I, you know, things like that, things of that nature. So let me just give you an example or what we did of what we did. So we said, I love knowing that, and then a constant flow of money is coming to me in multiple sources. Um, then we said, I love how it feels when I get paid to enjoy life. Some other ones that we said for our, um, clarity statements or drawing from our clarity statements where I have decided that I will allow my relationship with money to feel good. Next we have more and more money for everyone. Another one was, it excites me when money comes easily to me. Then we have, I love the idea of getting paid bountifully for what I do. Then there's, I'm excited at the thought of having more autonomy over my career. Then there's, I love seeing myself paid, uh, paid enough for my time. Then I have, or I love knowing that I'm in the process of having multiple passing income streams. The reason why we have to put uh, like an I love such and such, or I love the fact that this is happening, or I love knowing, I love seeing, I love feeling, um, is because that, that um, <clears throat> it helps to raise our vibration when we actually talk about that thing that we actually want. Because many times when you actually, when you just say the, um, clarity statement, sometimes it doesn't really feel good or it doesn't feel true to you because it's technically not true yet. You haven't realized this yet. So um, it might not necessarily feel right when you just say that. However, you can switch, you can change the phrase or change your sentence a little bit so that it actually feels right. It actually resonates with you a whole lot better. So instead of saying, I have multiple streams of passing of passive income, you, um, if that's not really true for you, you probably, it won't feel right. Okay. But if you say, I love knowing that I'm in the process of having multiple passive income streams, then it actually does feel real for you because you could actually be in the process of attracting that towards you. So it kind of, it resonates a whole lot better and it might raise your vibration when you think about it in that way than how it would be, you know, if you just straight up said, I have multiple sources of income. You know what I mean? Um, next, at the end of your um, desire statement, now, so we've already did the opening statement, the body statement, and now we have a closing statement. This is the last part of step two. So how you would make your closing statement would be you're going to um, use the same generic phrase and then add in what you're trying to attract. So what we did was say the law of attraction is unfolding and orchestrating all that needs to happen to bring me more money. And that's it. <laughs> Step three, this is two step three, uh, step three in the, in the creation of, um, or your desire statement. And step three is allow it. Millions of people are getting paid bountifully today. 
there is an ongoing transfer of wealth in this industry. Notice that your allowing it statement removes all doubt or negative vibes from the statement, which now puts it in a positive, increases the positive uh, vibration for your statement, for your clarity statements, which paves a path for it to become real. So the clarity statement in this uh, statement, millions of people are getting paid bountiful, bountifully today is getting paid bountifully. And since that's something that I want, that is my clarity statement, in order for me to allow it, I need to justify it. And my justification or allowing it, my allowing it statement is that millions of people are getting paid bountifully today. Another similar statement would be, there is an ongoing transfer of wealth in this country. Someone just got paid well this minute. Hundreds and thousands of people win prizes and money every day. Thousands of people receive millions of dollars in passive income. More and more people are getting paid to enjoy life. More people now have autonomy over their careers. So what we covered in this episode, what we wanted to cover in this episode is the process by which you can you know, create a desire statement. There are three steps to creating a desire statement. The first thing you want to do is to um, identify your desire. In identifying your desire, you start out by creating a table, a, a two-sided table. On the first side is your contrast and on the second side is your clarity statement. And like we, you know, we went over it earlier. Here's what your contrast statement will look like. And on the other clarity, uh, the alternating clarity statement for the contrast statement. When you're done with this, ideally what you want to do is to put a, a rule a line across the contrast statement. Um, let me scroll up. And put a line across the uh, contrast statement and then move on to step two. Step two is to give your desire attention by creating desire statements. What you're doing now is you've identified your clarity statements. Now you're, give, you're gonna give your clarity statements desire. You're gonna give them attention. And by giving attention, you wanna choose your words specifically on how you're describing those um, clarity comments or clarity statements. In um, giving your desire attention, there are three parts to that statement. There's the opening statement, the body part, the body of the statement, and the closing of the statement. The opening of the statement should have um, beginning words like, I'm in the process of, I'm in the process of attracting, I'm in the process of attracting all that I need to do, know, or have to attract more money to me. Your clarity statement is attracting more money to me. The opening part of the statement is I'm in the process of attracting all that I need to do, know, or have to attract more money to me. The body of your desire uh, statement will be, I love knowing that a constant flow of money is coming in from multiple sources. Notice that I'm still using my clarity statements in creating this. So you, you start off the statement by saying, I love knowing and then you insert your clarity statement. I love how it feels when I get paid to enjoy life. I have decided that I will allow my relationship with money to feel good. More and more money for everyone. It excites me when money comes easily to me. I love the idea of getting paid bountifully for what I do. Notice the feeling, the feeling. It's a good feeling because not only is your statement uh, in line or aligned with your clarity, what you want, you are also allowing it to happen. You're attaching, um, you're bringing attention to your clarity statements. 
I love the idea of getting paid bounty bountifully for what I do. I'm excited at the thought of having more autonomy over my career. I love seeing myself paid enough for my time. Then you want to close the statement by adding the law of attraction is unfolding and orchestrating all that needs to happen to bring more money to me. That's how you close your uh, desire statement. And we move on to step three. And step three, we now we have identified our desire. We've uh, brought at attention to our desire by creating desire statements. Now we're going to allow our, our um, clarities to now manifest. And to do that, we create allowance statements. There are two ways to tell when you are allowing. First, you feel a sense of relief and often hear yourself saying, ah, this feels much better. Second, you see evidence of your manifestation appearing in your life. So, you know, from the book uh, in page 91, uh, Michael, Michael J. Lossier writes, more tools to help you allow. In addition to the allowing statement tool, here are additional tools. One, celebrate the proof. Record your proof of the law of attraction. Appreciation and gratitude. Use the expression, I mean the process off. Use the expression, I've decided to. Use the expression, lots can happen. And then you fill it in, fill in the blank with your clarity statements. Ask for information. Make yourself an attraction box. Create a void or vacuum. Allow the law of attraction to figure it out. So uh, uh, some of our allowing statements were millions of people are getting paid bountifully today. There is an ongoing transfer of wealth in this country. Someone just got paid very well this minute. Hundreds and thousands of people win prices and money every day. Thousands of people receive millions of dollars in passive income. More and more people are getting paid to enjoy life. More people now have autonomy over their careers. Guys, there's so much power in putting action to these uh, words. You know, one thing is reading it. We have spent the time to read the book and now we're taking action by following the steps and uh, completing the worksheet and making it personal to our lives and uh, and the things that we're going through uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. I encourage you all to take that step and uh, put some action into the words. One thing is reading the book and uh, acquiring the knowledge and letting it digest. But the most important step is to taking, taking deliberate action to manifest your words, your thoughts, become words, your words become reality. Think big, audit your thoughts, and I wish you all well. We'll be bringing you more episodes in the future. Stay tuned.